Hi, my name is Tiffy Starchild for Black Nerd Problems, and today we are not going to talk about villains or Avatar, which... I know, but we are multi-dimensional beings and we are stepping out of the animated world. It's, um, it's cold out here and it's not bright enough. So there's this new show out on Peacock called Bust Down that just was released last week on March 10th, but I got to see the entire season ahead of time and I got to interview the main cast, which I'm just like, why do they let me talk to people? that are real. And I will include clips from those interviews at the end of this video, but first, let me tell you why you should absolutely watch this show. Bust Down stars Jack Knight, Langston Kerman, Sam Jay, and Chris Red. Names that I was not familiar with prior to this show, and before y'all come for me, I'm gonna uno reverse that and blame y'all because none of you fake bitches put me on. But that's fine, because this really just highlights for me that I need to expand past my bubble, because this is not typically the type of show that I would just pick up on. And that would be a whole tragedy because I've never laughed this hard in my life. And I binged all six episodes at once at like midnight. So I'm trying to hold in laughter and be respectful that it's late and my household is sleeping. But also fuck respect. So the show follows four friends that are working dead end jobs at a casino in Gary, Indiana, where the Jacksons are from. And immediately when I heard about the show, the casino part is what drew me in because I too have known that particular type of hell and therapy is too expensive so I will take Take comedy instead. Like what these characters have to deal with the patrons at the casino that stay for days and nights and do not shower or brush their teeth. Would they too hide out in the lactation room when they were tired of being on the floor because how you gonna tell me that I'm not lactating? You don't know my titties. But the show really isn't about the casino itself. They could be working at a movie theater or a Dairy Queen. And the show isn't necessarily about the plot either, although each character who is an exaggerated version of the actor playing them does have their own story arc and things for us to follow. But Keep in mind that I did not say anything about character growth because it's not that type of show. Fuck growth, this show is about antics and hijinks and maybe even some tomfoolery. And that is something that is very deliberate on the part of the creators. One of the things they said about this show is that within this black renaissance that's currently happening in television, hopefully Bust Down allows us to just see the humanity of these characters. We're seeing a lot of shows that are rooted in black girl magic and black boy joy and that's beautiful for a lot of reasons, but we also need shows that allow black people to just exist. There's no mountain to climb. There's no dragon to slay. You know, we're not always trying to escape our hometowns in pursuit of something bigger or better or equate our worth with how much we're willing to struggle. It's just every day. It's like a slice of life anime for niggas through a really comedic lens. So obviously some of the scenarios or the reactions of the characters, like the characters themselves, are very exaggerated for comedic purposes, but they're rooted in the actor's actual experiences and they're extremely relatable. Even the first First line of the show, out the gate, delivered by Sam J. Look at these motherfuckers. Man, fuck this. You ain't ever looked around your job and felt that in your spirit. And even heavier topics like sexual assault are mentioned in Bust Down, which might seem a little bit wild, but not really because people use comedy to cope with trauma and that is okay. And that is an extremely fine line, but I think that the cast walks it very well. And to me, it just kind of shows that you can talk about sensitive topics and comedy without necessarily punching down. But if you yourself are sensitive, which is fine, I'm a Pisces, so I get it. I just want you to keep in mind that there is a very intentional effort to push some of these jokes as far as they can go. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that much ejaculate in media and I've been on the internet since America Online 1.0. There are plenty of nerdy references which we love but my favorite is a line delivered by Chris's character when he said Batman don't want to catch the Joker without the Joker Batman is just a nigga in leather standing on a roof missing his daddy which is not Batman slander will is the truth. So this interview, and this is where I fucked up, because like I said, I watched the entire season, which I call being prepared, but by the time I finished episode six, I was a fan with no time to settle my fangirl spirit or my fangirl energy. I didn't squeal, which is so much growth, but I also did not ask the questions that I had thoughtfully written out prior. I also figured that they're doing like nonstop press right now and they probably get asked the same questions all the time. And my questions were kind of also answered in the press release that they gave us. So I just, I just let the universe guide that ship. I kept it to things I knew and I felt were relevant. Between all four of the characters, who you think's winning in a fight? Mm. Langston. 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 Really? Yeah, okay. I think he can win. 
<laughs> I think that's fair. He he had something like a switch that went off sometimes, and I think yeah, he has like a deep deep anger to him. Yeah. That I wouldn't want to <laughs> Between all four of y'all, with your characters, who's winning in a fight? If it's an all-out brawl. Oh, like a fist fight? Like a fist fight, just oh. everything on the table. Like I'm Chris winning. is gonna say himself. I'm <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm winning. I'm fighting every day. <laughs> he's like, day. Three in the morning to box. He's not going to be like, uh, I think Sam will beat me up. He's not going to do that. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they actually yeah. voted for you. They said that you would you would win the fight. Who? Like, Who's Langston. Langston? Yeah. I, he, he's I'm a superhero. <laughs> okay. My guess is that they said that because they say I have an inner rage that uh, has never, that I've never let out. And that if it does come out, I'm gonna murder people. And I don't believe that. I'm a very nice person, Tiffy. I'm very nice. I see yeah. it. <laughs> and also, we interview one on one, but we're in a waiting room. And someone said that they like PlayStation. So I was like, dope, I'm gonna bring up Ghost of Tsushima. And I did. I heard that y'all were PlayStation people. So I have to ask any of y'all into Ghost of Tsushima or what PlayStation games Absolutely. are y'all playing? Absolutely. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm in New Crazy. York right now. I'm trying to get back and play Elder, Elder Ring when I get back. Okay. Home. That was me. I was in New York and I'm just like, I could be slaughtering Mongols right now, but I'm here with my friends and this is Yeah, weird. we were going crazy for Ghost of Tsushima. We were like that's, sending that's each other pictures of us on our horses. In the like, look at, look at me. <laughs> it was like, that's how I felt too. I yeah, felt we were losing it. <laughs> we were going crazy for it for a while. And at the end of the day, y'all know what I like to talk about on this channel. For survival from absolutely any series, which villain are you smashing? It is a refreshing, different getting to know you type question and everybody has one. So it's not that weird. She go from Kim Possible. Really? She go from Kim Possible? I respect yeah. that. Okay. Without okay. even, without even, that's not even a hard No question. hesitation. Mm. Yep. Damn. Jesse and James from Team Rocket. Wow. That's the You're best sick. answer, Jesse and James. <laughs> oh, for survival? For survival. Mm. I mean, you could also do it for fun. Like, me, it's Zaheer from Airbender. So, like... Oh, I, I, ooh, I'd make sweet love to Frieza. Frieza seems like, uh... <laughs> Yeah, Frieza got all them forms. You can find something you like in Frieza, and then I like variety. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, Maleficent. I mean, I'm smashing Maleficent. Bro. Maleficent? Wait. Yeah, yeah, because she got a little dragon drink. form. She said, "Oh man, you know any form really? I take her as she come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we like someone flexible. Dragon form because I got a fly. You know, I travel, so you know, it's, you know what I'm saying. So it would be cool to have a girl that's down and that can also fly." <laughs> practical. You're very practical and I like that. I did my best. Yes, I highly recommend that you watch this show. I went in with some interest and no expectations whatsoever. And now I am waiting for a season two. I don't even know if there's going to be a season two. I would like for there to be a season two. But I know I'll be rewatching season one on Peacock where it is currently streaming. And you can even watch the first episode for free. And that is it for this review. Please make sure that you are following Black Nerd Problems as well as me, Tiffy Starchild. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.